Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have a new TP-Link Wi-Fi 6 router, and I'm gonna show you how to install this today. Now, this specific router is an Archer AX3000. It's capable of three gigabytes per second, but it really doesn't matter kind of what router you get. This is the next generation Wi-Fi 6 router, which is supposed to be much faster uh, than the old version five routers. But that's not really the point. Today, what we're gonna do is just do some basics of if you buy a new Wi-Fi router, how to set them up. Let's open up this box. And here you go. This is the Wi-Fi box. Now, this look, might look similar to what you have or slightly different. This does have four antennas. Yours might have no antennas, two antennas, or even four antennas. This basically helps relay the Wi-Fi signal. Now, turning this around, uh, your box may probably have a lot of these little plugins. Now, these are Ethernet uh, uh, connection. So basically they look like phone cables if you're familiar with the old style uh, phone cable, but they're slightly bigger. So you can kind of see it right here. They are bigger than the traditional phone lines. Now you will need internet uh, connections or in internet into your home. So you'll need to contact your cable or internet company to bring in internet service. After that, they will install probably what's called a little box called a router. It might be a box, it might be a tower, what have you. But basically, you'll need to use an ethernet cable connected into that modem on one of their out, outboard lines and then connect it into uh, what is the WAN, WAN line, W-A-N line, which in this case is blue. Now the other orange lines connections here are landlines. It's landline, LAN one, two, three, and four. Yours might have two, yours might have six, but these are basically hardline uh, outline uh, connections. So these are basically, let's say you want to connect uh, an inline to from your modem and connect it directly to let's say a TV or a computer. Well, you can do that with these connections. Now, these connections have nothing to do with the Wi-Fi signal. These are hardline connections, and uh, traditionally, they are faster connections. So if your modem or Wi-Fi box is close to, let's say, TV or computer, you can connect your TV or com com computer directly to a hardline connection. And so you just plug in uh, your your modem to this line, and let's say your TV or computer to one of these landlines. So the other end of this line will, will plug directly into your TV or your computer. And of course the box does uh, need power, so I'm gonna take my power supply and plug it in there, and then take the opposite side and plug it into the wall. And so I went ahead and moved the router to the TV location where I'm gonna set it up. I'm actually probably gonna set it up behind the TV, but for now it's in front. Uh, you can see here that I have it, uh, I have the power plug in, inserted. The black cable goes into the wall where I have my direct connection to my internet modem. And then the yellow is actually connected to the back of the TV uh, since it's a smart TV. So with everything plugged in, you just need to push the power button in the back and wait for the whole system to boot up. Now this may take uh, a few minutes, especially during first boot up, uh, but at the end, what you wanna see is not only the, uh, the power uh, LED light go on, but in my case, I'm also looking for the 2.4 and five gigahertz um, lights to go on and eventually the internet indicator light LED to turn on showing that the entire system has been powered up and it's actually seen all the internet incoming signals. And then for this Wi-Fi router, I want to download TP-Link Tether app so I can go ahead and set it up. So I went ahead and downloaded that on my iPhone. And then here you could see I have the Tether app, which I just opened. And initially it just wants me to uh, make a, uh, 
a TP Link ID account with a password. This is this may be different from the router you are actually installing. So I'll go ahead and go through this process. And now that I set up an account, it's now asking me to choose a device. I'm just going to select the wireless router up on top. And just here the standard router and next is just asking me to connect everything to the hardware uh, and which we already did. I just did that. And it's also telling me to power things up, which I already did and look for those power indicating LED signal, which we did and we saw all those signals. So for this particular router, it already has the router name and password already initially set up. You could change it later, but that information, at least the password is found on the bottom of the router itself. And uh, this next screen is showing you where to look for that password. And here it's just searching for the device that I may have uh, in my presence. And it does find the Archer uh, Wi-Fi router. And the next uh, few screens is just uh, some setup options. I'm just gonna hit the auto detect for the connection type. I'm just gonna for the uh, I'm just going to hit the default there and here it's asking you to actually enter a network name. Now this you're rechanging, you're changing the name of your router. So uh, in my case, I'm just going to change it to, uh, I, I, I'm going to actually change it to the Geo 1 rather than Geo 2 because I'm going to switch uh, the routers. So I'll, hold, I'll go ahead and hit enter Geo 1 and then enter a, I will go ahead and enter a unique password. I won't show you here, but I'll go ahead and do that and then hit continue. And then it's just applying all the settings. It's logging into the Archer router and now testing the network connection. And it says, congratulations, uh, you are now connected. And there's some statistics about uh, the upload speed and the download speed. This may be different depending on uh, not only the signals you're coming into your house, but also uh, your modem that you have. And there you go, the Wi-Fi router is all set up and ready to go. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I'll have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.